Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this cute little Easter mini file folder gum holder that holds a pack of Sour Patch dried gum. They're a lot of fun to make, and I think anybody would enjoy getting them for Easter. So let me set this aside, and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to want is a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. This cardstock measures three and a half by five inches. I'm going to set that on my envelope punch board with the edge of my cardstock right where the little plastic point of the envelope punch board meets the metal. And I'm going to punch. I'm going to slide this over to the two and a half inch mark and punch again. And now I'm finished with my envelope punch board. I'm going to get my stamp and trimmer. Here we go. And I'm looking to set that little divot along this track. So I am going to line that up so that it's along that little groove. And then I'm going to take my cutting blade and slide up to the divot until it gives. That's all that's to it. The next step is going to be scoring. So I'm going to take my Simply Score tool. I want to set my tabbed edge against the side ruler and take my stylus and score at the two and a half and two and seven eighths inch mark. And now I'm ready to fold. You're going to fold your cardstock along those crease lines. And you've got your general shape. So open it back up so that you can decorate it. I'm using a piece of our Watercolor Wonder Designer Series paper out of the Occasions catalog. It's a beautiful pack of paper and there's all kinds of wonderful soft patterns in it. I'm going to take this piece of cards or designer series paper that measures three and a half by two inches and I'm going to center it along this flap giving just a little bit of color at the top and bottom so that Daffodil Delight shows. Okay, I like to add the gum at this point because it helps give me a firm work surface for tying my ribbon. So now that I've got that in there, I'm going to take an 18 inch of gumball green satin stitched ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around the file folder and tie a bow. Now don't worry about the location of this bow because you can slide it to where you'd like it to end up when you're finished tying your ribbon. Okay, so there's my bow, and I am going to snip the end so that it looks pretty, and slide it over to the right where I'd like it to end up. There you go. And now I'm ready for my focal point. I bet you're wondering how I made the scallop oval. Let me show you that quickly. The first thing you're going to need is a 2 and 3 eighths inch scallop circle punch. This happens to be done in Calypso Coral, and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it directly down the center. That gives me two equal pieces. I'm going to take a little bit of my multi-purpose adhesive and run a thin line down the one side, and then I'm simply going to lay down the other piece on top of that, lining up the two half scallops in order to make my oval. Okay, let me set this aside and I'll show you the finished medallion. Okay, here it is. I've used the extra spectacular image from the stamp sets you can find in the Occasions catalog. I've added two dimensionals onto the back of it so that it'll straddle this ribbon and hold on nice and tight. And I'm simply going to adhere that to the front of my file folder. Okay, let me show you the original again. Here you go. And if you'd like to learn how to do the multicolored embossing that I've used for this project, check out my companion video. If you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. It's open 24-7 and you can get there from my blog, www.stampwithginny.com. And if you don't already have a local demonstrator or you'd like a catalog, email me with your name, phone number, and address and I'll be happy to send you one. Thanks for joining me.